It's a new type, a new stage of in-depth reform campaign in China right now, uh, but it's quite different with the previous campaigns, since because it is in the context that Chinese uh, growth rate has uh, been slowed down, as well as the complexity of reforms uh, extended to many areas of social sectors, economic sectors. So what we usually describe as uh, overall structural reform. Uh, that means the ever first or unprecedented challenge to the leadership and to rebuild the uh, wide social consensus among the Chinese public. Ideology has been uh, reshaped to the uh, gravity, to the focus of national development and uh, the fair and just for reduced distribution of public health wealth. Uh, so uh, ideology is still uh, prioritized with the uh, economic and social you know, balanced goal of economic and social developments. It's nothing to do with uh, what you describe as, um, you know, the orthodox Marxism uh, ideology. As we discussed uh, very broadly over the past uh, one and a half year at this forum, uh, both sides are so confident of the greatest potential, uh, a new uh, uh, phase, new stage of uh, complementarity between the two parties and uh, over the, uh, within the context, the changing context of the increasing demand for the global governance and for a sustainable development of the South-South collaboration. All the transformation of the Chinese paradigm of the past uh, uh, development from the uh, export-driven uh, development or growth paradigm to the uh, domestic demand-driven development paradigm. And China will play a bigger or even greater role of importing commodities as well as uh, many other uh, products from uh, local Latin American and Caribbean uh, communities. So China will become uh, an increasing important partner in the sense of importer instead of exporter of uh, manufactured goods. So that is a big difference and that is a good farewell uh, to the past uh, develop, uh, collaboration model between the two sides.